Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm finally back on site to work for more than just a couple of hours today. I've got a full half day today, which is more than I'm accustomed to having. And what I'm working on right now is this vent. This is again the vent that goes all the way up to the top floor, brings warm, humid air from there down here, and it's going to pump it down into the, the floor slab. Uh, I'm taping it up at the moment. Uh, I'm using, let me show you what I'm using right here. This is a, a foam. Uh, metal tape that uh, I'm putting on there. It has a really good grip. It really kind of fills in all the cracks and uh, You know gets a nice good seal on all of the stuff It's not the cheapest stuff to use, but I've used just regular duct, uh, duct tape before for ducts and it always just peels off uh, It just gets old and flops right off of it. It's kind of useless uh, Duct tape has a lot of good uses, but I think most of them are temporary for something more permanent uh, You know, I'd like to use a higher grade material. Uh, what I'm working on right now is uh, kind of stabilizing this part. It kind of comes down to the floor, comes this way, and then this section here is going to give it a 90 degree bend. You know, kind of start sloping down in that direction. But before I put that piece on, I wanted to stabilize this. I've got a piece of three quarter inch board, which is just about the right size for kind of pinning this up to uh, stabilize a little bit. And then I've got this piece of metal strap. Now, uh, you can buy at the store uh, metal straps that have a bunch of little holes in them, and you can use them for kind of uh, retaining uh, pipes or whatever you might want to tether down. I, I didn't buy any of that stuff. I kind of forgot, and at this point, I don't want to go back to the hardware store because it's, you know, not a safe environment with the, the you know, coronavirus situation. So I'm trying to minimize my trips there, but I had a, a really easy fix, which was uh, this strap here. It's uh, a metal strap that came on the batteries that just arrived yesterday. They were banded with metal straps, and uh, I was able to put a hole in one end, hole in the other, and I'm going to use that to attach it up. So I'm using scrap, saving money, and maybe saving my life by not going to the hardware store, or at least saving someone's life, because I'm not, I'm not spreading stuff around. So. Let's see if we can get this up in here. These are just flathead screws that I've got so that I'm not going to be opening this thing up a bunch. All right, because I don't want to tear the hole open. Yeah, let's try that. Once it gets a bite, these are, these are metal screws, so there we go. It's starting to twist the uh, the metal strap, which really doesn't create any structural problem, but aesthetically it bothers me, so I'm going to try to get the metal strap kind of straight. doesn't want to go straight. That's fine. All right, and that's in there. I didn't want to deform this too, too much. It seems pretty good. There's still a little bit of play in there, so it's still a circle, or as close to a circle as you're going to get with venting. So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to finish this out. Uh, there's going to be a vent for the, the plumber is going to create uh, that's going to go up through there and I really kind of want to get this um, air vent done so I can kind of claim this real estate and the plumbers don't uh, you know take it from me because <laughs> you know I could tell them you know leave this path open but you know it's a coin toss uh, as to whether or not they are going to do that and realistically speaking it's kind of heads they'll do it tails they don't and it's a uh, Probably a coin with two tails <laughs> on it because, um, you know, people forget a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to kind of claim this area that I need and then they can kind of work around it with what they're doing. That's it. Thanks for watching.